Welcome fellow Airsoft players and enthusiasts, channel host Marshmallow. And in this series we are going to be tackling the app called ATAC and all the uses that we have. So stick around. Alright, so now that we got that set up, let's start to uh, develop ATAC for a, um, let's say, a scrimmage or a middle sum event, something like that, to where we can uh, put this into practice and use. So let's hop on over to ATAC. So for the demonstration of this, I'm going to use uh, EMR Event Park in New Milford, Pennsylvania. If you haven't been there, I highly suggest it. It's a, it's a really cool place. So at any rate, first thing uh, we're going to do is let's download this uh, section of the map for offline viewing. Uh, this will be great for uh, two things. First, uh, we won't waste as much resources on our devices trying to load all the map areas that we're not going to need. Also, if we have a chance where we're not going to really have good cell phone signal, anything like that, we can still see the map. So how do we do that? Uh, first, we're going to go to our icons uh, toolbar. Uh, yours might be different, uh, but what we're going to look for is that tri-folding icon here. When we tap on that, this is going to bring us to whatever maps we're using. So we're good there. To make it available offline, if you look at the bottom, you'll see map source and then the online blue thing, and then that little kind of white carrot, or whatever it is, I don't know, but tap that. <laughs> And here you'll see um, the map sort of stuff come available. What you're going to want to do is hit select area. And then this is going to bring up, how do you want to do it? Do you want to do rectangle? Do you want to do it free form if it's like a weird kind of shape, etc. For time being, I'm just going to tap rec rectangle. Tap in the upper left corner. I'm going to zoom out a little bit because I want to decent amount of this park. I'm going to tap there. And now it's going to say your top right corner. I'm going to tap and say there. So now it's going to say... Or not. It's going to show the area that you've highlighted, and as long as that's what you want, you're good to go. If not, you can hit the back button and try it again. But at any rate, so now it's going to show you here on the right um, how fine or coarse or whatever. Uh, this is an auto setup. I'm just going to leave it there. Um, and now what I'm going to hit is you'll see that download. I'm going to tap that. Now it's going to say, do you want to update one or do you want to create a new one? And I'm just going to create a new one. And I'm just going to call this uh, EMR Park. You can call it whatever you want. Uh, this is just what I'm going to use. Hit OK. So now you'll start seeing it's downloading in the bottom corner. Um, sometimes it's going to take longer depending on the size you chose, etc. Uh, I'm going to let it do its thing, and then I'm going to come back. All right, so now that it is set, uh, what you'll see is, uh, in this case, there's this white box area around my map, and we're still on the live mobile. But what's going to show is what area has downloaded. Also, on your phone, you'll see in the top corner that little blue kind of arrow things. That's going to show that the image was loaded, downloaded, all good to go. And then there's next one they'll say, it's all good. So, we're good there. Let's hop on over to it. So, from here, you'll see imagery on the left. If you tap that, that's going to bring up the area that you downloaded. And as you'll see, everything around it is that green color or whatnot. That's no map that's being uh, loading at this time. It's only got what you've downloaded. If for some reason you didn't see this, um, let's say this is what you saw. You saw the white icon and it was still green. You'll see that little circle thing next to your map name. If you tap that to make it green, that will bring it up. So that's a little, little thing if uh, it doesn't. So now what I want to check is, did I get a very good image downloaded that can be useful? But sometimes if you don't do it right, it'll be very blurry and you're like, this is no use to me. And you may have to change that setting. Uh, for the time being, this looks pretty good for me. So we'll call that a win there. And we are all set. And for the remainder of this uh, video, uh, I'm going to be using this offline setup. So there's that. Uh, next, we will work on setting icons and what we can do with those and build from that. All right, so now that we have this map here, um, let's say we want to set data points for whatever reason. Let's say respawn, uh, control point, etc. cetera. Uh, this is what we're going to start building on. Um, for demonstrations on this, I'm going to choose on this AO what's called the castle. So when I zoom in here, this area right here, this is what they call the castle. Um, I want to put a data point here or a plot point, whatever. Uh, from your icons, if you find that little... Um, I don't even know what that would be called. Droplet, maybe, uh, with a little circle and the plus sign. You tap on that, 
this is where your icons are. Now, when you open it for the first time, what's going to come on is right here, markers. Uh, one thing to know about these, uh, what's awesome is that these four here, you can change between each other on the uh, map. They're the only ones in the icons that do that. Let me show you what I mean. So let's take the castle here. Let's take the blue one, drop it right on there. Um, if you hit the back button, let's get out of the marker spot here. When you tap on that, it's going to open up this little uh, wheel thing. If you look at the bottom right, there's that little paper. Tap on that. Now you see in the top left, there's that blue. Tap on that. And you can change it between these four. So let's say blue you used as, hey, this is what we control. And let's say you lost control of it. You can hit the red. And now you'll see it automatically updated to that red. You can hit that, maybe change it to green. Now it's green and yellow. Change the yellow icon. And you can change this as often as you need. Again, these are the only four icons that do that. All the rest of them will not do this. So if you have points that you know in a game or, you know, control, lose, etc., it might be wise to use this icon set. So there's that. Um, next, this name pretty much means nothing to us, I'm sure. Uh, let's change it to something that we would like. Uh, in the top, you'll see where it says the F.5, etc. If you tap on that, now this is where you can change. It does call sign, you can name it whatever. I'm going to name it, let's say, Castle. And if I spell things wrong in these videos, I know it because I'm a horrible speller. Anyway, so now we've named it what we want. And then it shows here uh, the information. If we wanted to change it here, I just what I did is I tapped on Cancel. I tapped on this uh, coordinates box. If you wanted to change it from that to any one of these other ones, UTM, etc., you could. I'm not going to get too much into that, but that's what that does. Down at the bottom, you'll see remarks. Again, this is where you can add whatever you want. So if you want to say, hey, temporary respawn, whatever, you can add those little notes there that stick with that icon. Uh, now, let's say you go, you know what, I don't really like where this is plotted. I need to move this a little bit. There's two ways to do it. If you need to do a fine tune, I'll show you that first. Just going to tap on that. On the uh, left side, around the 8 o'clock position, you see that little kind of square thing with the uh, directions. Tap that. This is going to show a zoomed in, where if you say, I just want to move it maybe right about, I don't know, say that. Then you can hit the check mark, and now it's moved it. So that's a way to fine tune it. If you want to move it a further area, let's say we're going to aim for the top left tower there. If you tap and hold it, you're going to see a little uh, kind of crosshairs. In the red. So see that? So now if we move it, leaving our finger on there, boom. Now we can move it to a spot that we need. So if you use this, let's say like a respawn and respawn moved, you can do that. I'm going to move it back to where it needed to be. So there's that. More things we can do to this. Bring in the paper. At the bottom, you'll see that little paper clip thing. If you tap that, this we can add attachments. So if you had pictures, videos of the spot, if whatever, you had a piece of paper from the Milsom event, information you wanted, we can add that here. So how do we do that? In the top, there's that uh, circle with the plus sign. Hit that. This is where say, hey, what kind of attachment type do you want? Do you need to load a file, video, image, or camera? For the time being, I'm going to say, let's do camera. When you tap that for the first time, uh, you will see capture with either the camera on your phone or geocam. Uh, some versions of your phones will allow you to hit a check mark to um, say, yeah, always use this. And some of them won't. Uh, this specific one, if I tap camera, it's going to leave it as camera forever. I'll show you later on how to change that if your phone does that. But for the time being, let's use camera. So tap that. It's going to say, okay, auto selection. So I'm just looking at my keyboard. Cute, I know. Uh, we'll take a picture. So now I'll say, yep, that's good. We're going to add it. So now it's added that image to this icon. So when you move back, now you'll see that there's that one. If you added more, there's two, three, four, et cetera, you would see that number there. So that lets you know, oh, I got it. And what? You can tap that. And, oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, this is, you know, whatever. So, and then you can add it. Or you could put a caption here. It'd be like, go me or whatever. Whatever you want to say. I'll just be like, wow. So, so now you would see that that would be named that. But that's how you can do that. And that's the general aspect there. And if you wanted to add more, you can hit that plus again and add what is needed. So there's that. And if you wanted to add another, I'll just show you another plot point. Um, and again, whatever you would find useful. So we'll go to that. Markers, let's just say something different. I don't know. Um, but looks kind of cool. Let's try uh, Google. What does Google have? Neat. All right, 
Uh, let's just use a fire icon, hyperlit. Then you can drop it. And let's say down here you wanted to add another icon, a horse, etc. And then as you see, now we're starting to build up different informations that we can see on our map. So you can change those as needed, but that's the general overview. So hopefully you find it helpful. Again, this is how you can download maps for offline viewing and also make your phone run a little quicker instead of trying to upload all of the maps everywhere and how to drop uh, icon points and edit them. See you in the next video.